Hey, I'm Tipitoloff, and welcome back to another Lunar Client Settings video. So maybe you're banging your head on the wall a bit unsure why your FPS is so low compared to other YouTubers you watch, and you might come to the depressing conclusion that they just have a beefy PC and you'll never be able to improve your FPS. And that is where you're wrong. There are many settings that can incredibly alter your Minecraft's FPS performance. And if you're wondering about specific issues, then slide the red bar on the video to find the chapters that you're most interested in. And if this video helps your FPS, then make sure to like the video and let me know in the comments. Before we get into tip number one, I want to talk about the texture pack myth again. I've mentioned this so many times before and nobody believes me. So the myth that every single YouTuber is claiming nowadays is that certain texture packs improve your FPS more than other ones. And you have to hand it to them. Logically, it makes sense. Smaller texture pack equals more FPS. Is it true though? Well, not at all actually. In fact, it's so false that I have an entire section of this video just comparing texture packs and proving those people wrong. So keep watching if you want me to compare a 16x texture pack to a 1x texture pack. Let's move on to tip number one. So for from my experience, this is the most important setting that drastically improves your FPS, and that is render distance. I can't stress enough of how important this is, and I bet you didn't know that Hypixel has a max render distance of 16, not 7. I mean, that doesn't even make sense. And the reason why render distance is so important for FPS is because it loads in less blocks and less entities at a time to reduce lag. So as you can see, Hypixel doesn't load anything above 16 render distance, and even if I do it, I, my FPS is still leaving, just going absolutely out the door. It has 4 FPS right now. And if I bring it to the lowest possible, I'm going to start getting thousands of FPS. Tip number two is directly linked to tip number one, and I think a lot of people don't understand it, so I'm going to help you understand what it actually does. It's lazy chunk loading. And in my opinion, this name suits this mod the most possible. Like, Lunar couldn't have picked a better name for this. It takes your render distance and it slows down the rendering. So let's use a visual example. If you had 16 render distance, which is what I use, and turn on lazy chunk loading, then your render distance won't shrink. It will only load in your chunks slower than before, which will raise your FPS. Alright, tip number three is a couple of Minecraft settings that minorly change your lighting and textures in Minecraft. So go to options, video settings, and put your graphics to fast. So what this is doing is basically making some texture changes to improve your FPS. It says when you change it to fast, it has lower quality and it's faster. And to be honest, I've been using this forever and it does not lower the quality of anything. And it only does as it says here. It changes the appearance of clouds, leaves, water, shadows, and grass sides. And the second Minecraft setting is smooth lighting and it's right below video graphics. So what this mod actually does is it changes the shadows from blocks and entities in Minecraft. And if you play with Fulbright, this mod is useless, but if you don't play with Fulbright, make sure you have this off. And now what you've all been waiting for. I'm gonna be playing two rounds of Bed Wars, one with a normal texture pack of choice, and one 1x texture pack. And we're gonna see how the FPS changes. It's gonna be a keyboard and mouse sounds format, and I hope you enjoy it.
All right, let's go into the 1x texture pack and see if our FPS changes at all. Ah. Okay, so now that you've seen both comparisons, tell me in the comments which one do you think has more FPS? Honestly, I was playing through the entire thing and I didn't see a change in FPS in either of them. If you are still worried about your FPS, then you should definitely check out this video. We review Feather Client, which is a very new client that is said to be double Bad Lions FPS. Stick around to see if that's true and I will see you in the next video.